What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Tigri from Roblox Piggy. Now we're going to get started at the top of our page and draw a large circle for the head. So let's start right in the middle, at the very top. I'm just going to work our way out towards the left side, down along the side of the head, and then we'll pull that in towards the middle. Now we're just going to work our way back up along the right side. So let's start at the bottom, go out, up on the right, and we'll just bend that in towards the top. Now we're going to move to the center of the head and draw an upside down triangle for the nose. So start right in the middle of a straight line, going across. And then from the ends, we're just going to pull this down and in towards the middle. And then we'll fill the nose in black. Let's connect the top corners of the nose with a circle for the muzzle, starting on the left. We'll go around, just gonna pull this up just up above the bottom of the head, go out, and then up on the right. And now we're gonna move out towards the side and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's we'll start on the top left, go all the way down towards the bottom of the eye, and then back up towards the top. Let's line this up on the right side, and we'll do the same thing. Coming down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Let's draw a smaller circle in the center of each eye. Starting back at the top, just leave an even space gap all the way around, and then back up. And then we'll fill the outside of the eyes in black. And now directly below each eye, we'll draw a small oval for the cheeks. Let's start on the left, go all the way around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Let's line this up on the right. And now we're going to move up to the top of the head and draw on the ears. Let's line up at the center of the eye, go up towards the top of the head, I'm going to angle this up and then out, go over towards the right side and do the same thing. And then we'll pull the ears back down towards the top of the head. Coming down and in. Let's add those thick stripes along the side of the head. We start on the left, start with two short lines coming in, close off the end with a straight line. We're gonna line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Let's fill those in black. Let's add another set just up above. We made a gap, draw another line coming in, go up, and then back out. And then again, we'll fill those in black. Let's add one more along the bottom. Again, leaving a gap, come in, down, and then out. And then one last time, we're gonna fill those in black. Now we're gonna move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, and curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip, go over towards the right side, go out, and then down towards the same height, and we'll close off the bottom. Starting back on the left, come down the middle, and then bend that up. Let's go to the center of the body, step down, draw a curve, left to right, going up and then down. Now leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, curve the foot coming down, 
and up toward the toe. And then we'll round out the top of the foot, starting back from the toe, and go up, and we'll bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We'll leave a gap along the inside. And then we'll go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. We'll start from the left side, curve the leg going out, and then straight down on top of the foot. Let's separate the top of the left leg, starting on the outside, curve down, and then up. Let's move back up and draw the arms stretched out holding two swords. Starting from the top of the body, curve the arm coming down, and then out towards the wrist. Go over towards the right, coming down, and then out. Let's go back to the left side and curl around the thumb. We're going to go up, bend the thumb coming down, round up the tip of the thumb, and then pull that back up. And we'll draw the edge of the palm. It's going to come down and then hook that in. Let's wrap three fingers around the handle. Starting from the outside of the thumb, draw a half oval. Going out, and then in, come down towards the bottom, draw that again. We'll tuck this up underneath the thumb, and then we'll do that one more time. Let's draw the end of the handle on top of the hand. We're going to start on top of the finger. We're going to draw a circle going around and then back down on top of the thumb. And now we'll draw the bottom of the handle. Starting from the bottom of the finger, start with a short line coming down. I'm just going to curve this in and then up. And we'll taper that back in towards the inside of the bottom finger. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Come down with a straight line. In, bend that up, bend that back down and in towards the bottom finger. Let's go to the outside corner of the handle, step in, draw a curve that comes down and then out on both sides. Now from here it's going to curve down and then in towards the bottom of the sword. Now from the bottom we're going to go straight up and then bend that in. and draw a straight angle line going back in behind the handle. Let's go halfway along the side of the body, starting right here, we're going to curve the arm coming down and then out in behind the handle. Let's line this up on the right side and do the same thing. And we'll separate the top of the left shoulder, starting from the bottom, curve up and then out. And then halfway along the right arm, curve in and then down towards the bottom. Let's add the tail coming out on the right side. Starting from the hip, curve the tail coming down, out in behind the sword, continue on the outside, and then curve that up. And then we'll round out the tip of the tail, coming back in, and we'll follow that same curve, coming down and in behind the sword, continue along the inside behind the leg. And now we'll add some stripes across the tail, starting from the inside at the very top, come down, bend that in, step in, draw that same curve, go to the inside of the sword, come down and in, step in, draw that one more time. And we'll fill in the stripes, starting with the tip, so we'll fill this in black, we'll step over, fill in this area, also the area inside the sword, and then the area right beside the leg. And that's pretty much it. There's Tigree from Roblox Piggy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.